So, maybe you've just bought your first road bike, or perhaps you're just looking to get more comfortable on your current bike. I'm Will from Atlas Exercise, and I'm here today with Kieran Hill, who is the head bike fitter at Triathlon Hub. And today we're going to show you the three easy steps to get yourself in a great position on your bike. So step one, saddle height. It's important to get your saddle the right height to avoid injury. With your cranks at 12 and 6, sit on the saddle and put your heel on the pedal. You're looking for your leg to be just off the straight on the one that's at 6 o'clock. If your saddle's too low, it's likely that you'll feel increased effort in your quads and that you'll feel a bit cramped up. If your saddle's too high, it's likely that your toes will be pointed to get to the bottom of the stroke and you might feel that you're rocking in the saddle. Step two, saddle setback. Simply put, this is how far your saddle is forward and back on the rails. This looks at weight distribution across the bike as a whole. If your saddle's too far forwards, it's likely that you'll have too much pressure through your hands and that can introduce pain. Too far back conversely, and it can introduce numbness through the saddle. To test this is really simple. With the bike in a turbo setup like this, put your hands on the drops and try and ride at a moderate pace. Once at that pace, let go of the handlebars and keep your body in the same position. If it's too hard to hold this position and you feel like you're falling into the handlebars and have to hold them again, it's likely that your saddle is too far forwards and therefore too much weight forwards. To rectify this, simply slide the saddle back. Conversely, if you can hold this position easily, then it's likely your weight is too far back on the bike. To rectify this, slide the saddle forwards. This position should be hard to hold, but not impossible. Please bear in mind, any movements to saddle setback need to be accounted for with your saddle height. So if you move backwards, you must go down in a three to one ratio, and conversely, moving forwards, if you slide your saddle forwards, your saddle height has to go up in a three to one ratio. So an example, if you drop the saddle back by three millimeters, you need to go down by one millimeter. Step three, now we're looking at the reach. Once you have your weight distributed over the bike properly, we're now looking at comfort of your arms. The ideal position here is to have a slight bend in your arm once you're on the hoods, and you're able to move between the different positions of the tops, the hoods and the drops with little stress. If your handlebars are too close to you, it's likely that you'll feel pressure pushing back into your hands. To rectify this, if you have any spaces below your stem, you can lift these above. Ultimately, if that doesn't solve the problem, you may need to look in to get a longer stem. If your handlebar reach is too long, it's likely that you'll be overextended in your arms and you might even be shrugging. This can introduce pain in the neck once riding. To fix this, if you have any spaces above your stem, you can try and drop those down. If this doesn't fix it, you might need to look into getting a shorter stem. If you follow these three steps, you should be able to set your bike up in a position which is more comfortable and which will allow you to ride for longer and ultimately have more fun doing it. If you have any problems that persist, I definitely urge you to get in contact with a professional bike fitter like Kieran from Trihub here, as they'll be able to iron out any further problems. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe.